Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gorn. In our today's video, we will talk about the part 2 of our topic, Complementary and Supplementary Angles. This time, we will incorporate algebra in solving problems regarding to geometry. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So here are the questions or the problems for this video. We are asked to find x and the measure of each angle. So as you can see, I have here three different figures wherein some of the angles here are represented by algebra expressions. Let us try to solve this one. As you can see, the whole angle or the bigger angle here is a 90 degree angle, meaning we can use the concept of complementary angles because this angle, angle 1 and angle 2, are forming complementary angles. So how are we going to solve this kind of problem? Since they are complementary, the concept is that if the two angles are complementary, meaning the sum of the two angles is equal to 90 degrees. So to solve this, let's create first an equation. We have angle 1 plus angle 2 is equal to 90 or 90 degrees. Let us use the expression here represented by this one. Your angle 1 is represented by x plus 1 degree, x plus 6 degrees rather. So let's have x plus 6 plus your angle 2 is represented by 3x plus 2. We have 3x plus 2 is equal to 90. Our first thing, the first thing we need to do here guys is to so for first for the value of x, for us to find the measurement of these two angles. x plus 3x is 4x. 6 plus 2 is 8 is equal to 90. Transpose 8 to the other side, it will become 4x is equal to 90 minus 8. So we have 4x is equal to 82. And then, what will happen here is that we will divide this by 4. This one is also by 4. Cancel, cancel. So as you can see, meron tayo ritong x which is equal to 22 point, uh, 20 point 20.5. That is the value of x. Now, if x is equal to 20.5, kunin natin yung value nito. So this x plus 6, x plus 6 degree. This is angle 1, eh? angle 1. So we have 20.5 plus 6 degree, meaning your angle 1 is 26.5. Five degrees. So if this is 26.5 degrees, what is not the value of angle 2? Your angle 2 measures how many? Okay, how many? We have 63.5 degrees. This is 26.5 degrees. This is 63.5 degrees. Okay guys, so let's continue with item number 2. For our item number 2, as you can see, this one is a straight angle. So basically, we will use the concept of supplementary angles. Let's say, for example, this is angle 1 and this is angle 2. Create muna tayo ng working equation. Your angle 1 plus angle 2 is equal to 180 because they are forming supplementary angles. Your angle 1 is 115 degrees. Plus, your angle 2 is 2x plus 9 is equal to 180. Combine muna natin. 115 plus 9, that is equal to 124 plus 2x is equal to 180 degrees. Transpose 124 to the other side. It will become 2x is equal to 180 degrees 
minus 124 degrees. So this is 2x is equal to how many? 66 degrees. To solve for x, because we are asked to solve for x, divide by 2, divide by 2, cancel, cancel. Your x is equal to 33 degrees. Actually, uh, x na lang kailangan tayong hanapin dito. Because if your angle 1 measures 115, automatically your angle 2 is how many? Uh, that is, sorry, 65 degrees. That is the answer for that. Okay? I hope na nakuha niyo yung concept na to. Eh. Now let's move on with the next example. Supplementary angles, yung concept. So let's add them. This is angle 1, angle 2. Add them natin sa directa. X plus 16 plus 3X plus 2 is equal to 180 degrees. Add them 4x plus 18 is equal to 180 degrees. Okay. Ngayon, transpose natin to sa other side. This is 4x is equal to how many? 180 degrees minus 18 degrees. So you have 4x is equal to how many? 162 degrees. So what will happen here? Okay. So divide that in both sides by 4. By 4. As you can see, this is the whole number. So your x here is equal to 40.5. Think value of x. Natin. What about the measurement of angle 1. Yung angle 1 na lang hanapin natin. Your angle 1 is equal to x plus 16 degrees. Substitute natin yung value ng x. 40.5 plus 16 degrees. Meaning your angle 1 is equal to 56.5 degrees. Okay? If this is 56.5 degrees, What is the value of this? This one is 123.5 degrees. Yan yung angle to natin. So I hope guys you learned something from this video. Medyo congested lang yung paper natin dahil sya na maraming solution. By the way, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Goyne. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!